Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon 201.9. Today we're going to talk about beginnings. Whips in the Dungeon 101.41 talked about sequencing play. In the, the intermediate series, we're going to take each one of those sequence parts and break it down. Today we're going to talk a little bit about beginnings. A really good beginning is to think very thoughtfully of a ritual that has meaning for you uh, that you could do before every scene. So I'm going to ask Moodstone to come in and kneel for us. Kneeling is actually a nice ritual that can be done to start each scene. So you might have the, the whip catcher you're playing with kneel, kneel back. Uh, a collar is a nice ritual if you have, uh, if your bottom is collared, uh, then you might place the collar on as part of that pre-scene ritual. Uh, wrist and ankle cuffs uh, are, are nice rituals to have. But thoughtfully think about a ritual that you could do with anybody that you play with, uh, whether they be collared to you or not. And the ritual I like is to begin with some sort of connection. And the connection I like to do is I place one hand on my chest I place my hand on their chest, and then they, the free hand goes on top of my hand, and I place my hand on top of, of their hand. And of course, if you touch someone's chest, do it with permission. You can quickly ask if they're okay with that. And once that connection's made, then listen to the music and breathe in and out together. I call it synchronous breathing, but it's a way of connecting and exchanging energy. So just do that for a couple seconds. For an actual scene, we might do it for 30 seconds, but for this video, we're gonna do it for a couple of seconds. So once that connection's made and you've synced up with the music, that's a nice beginning for any scene. There are other ways of making connections. Think about the way you wanna make connections with your whip bottom prior to starting play. And today's keyword is root chakra.